Now, after nearly 40 years in power, 93-year-old Robert Mugabe's autocratic tenure as president of Zimbabwe may be over after his once loyal military seized control of the state-owned television network, placed the long-term ruler and his wife in custody and surrounded parliament. Our viewers Richard Green has more on the rule of a man once hailed around the world as a revolutionary freedom fighter. Born in 1924 in what was then called Rhodesia, Mugabe's rise to power began in 1974, when he was released from prison after serving 10 years for subversion. The scholar and former school teacher became the leader of a prolonged guerrilla war against white minority rule. To be the leader of the people. Just as there was no shit at your independence, we had to walk the long walk. His efforts bore fruit in 1980 when he became Prime Minister of the newly independent nation of Zimbabwe. Praised in the early years of his rule for his pragmatic approach to governing, Mugabe steadily began consolidating power over the next decade, launching a brutal crackdown on opponents that led to the deaths of thousands of Zimbabweans. Mugabe's decision to seize land from white farmers transformed Zimbabwe from the economic breadbasket of Africa to the continent's economic basket case, complete with triple-digit inflation, mass unemployment, and worthless currency. Mugabe solidified his hold on power in 2008 when his loss to opposition leader Morgan Stangerai in the first round of presidential elections led to political violence against Stangerai's supporters, forcing Stangerai to withdraw from the runoff vote. By the time he won re-election in 2012, Zimbabwe had become an international pariah and Mugabe was considered as just another of the African continent's big men, autocratic leaders whose rule was tainted by corruption economic waste, and intolerance of dissent. Richard Green, VOA News, Washington.